welcome students to our soils the full of life channel if you if you are the first time watching this video please subscribe and press the bell icon and also like my video and today we are going to talk about the specific soil forming process if you are if you want to know about the fundamental phylogenic process please do watch my previous video and in this video we are going to discuss about the specific soil forming process the basic phylogenic process provide a framework for the later operations of this specific process. What is the basic phylogenic process that we have discussed in the previous video? You please do watch that video and come back to this video. Let us come in the point. What are the specific soil forming process? They are as follows. Very first one, calcification. And next one, decalcification. And next is fossilization and lateralization, gelalization, salinization, desalinization, solidization or alkalization, and pedoturbation. Next is solidization or dealkalization. So these are the specific pedogenic process or specific soil forming process. Now we will going to discuss about one by one about these specific soil forming process. What are they? Very first one, calcification. You know students, it's a completely a process of precipitation and accumulation of calcium carbonate in part of profile. How this accumulation is occurred? Mostly, this calcium is readily soluble in acid water or when the concentration is very high, what will happen? The carbon dioxide will join with water and form H2CO3. This H2CO3 will combine with calcium and form the calcium bicarbonate. This calcium bicarbonate is again converted into calcium carbonate plus water plus CO2. This is forms a precipitations in the layer, which gives a white color appearance in the profile. This process of precipitation after it's completely taken after mobilization under these conditions is called calcification, completely resulting in the elevation or the elevation of carbonates. And mostly this was designated as BK horizon. And next one is decalcification. It is a reverse of calcification, which we have discussed in the previous slide. It is completely removal of calcium carbonate or calcium ions from the soil by leaching. Please, here, so are the results. The calcium carbonate combined with carbon dioxide and water is converted into calcium bicarbonate. This is what's soluble. So naturally, this calcium will be lost. So this is called the decalcification. Next one is podzolization. It is nothing called. It's a formation of podzols. What is a podzols? In this type of spirogenic process, what will happen? All the bases were completely leached off. Everything, all the bases will be, which will, will be leached off. An entire solum or entire soil will become distinctly acidic. So this is also called as acid leaching. In the view on what is the favorable conditions of this spirogenic process? Mostly, this fertilization will take place in cold and humid climate, with the most favorable for the fertilization. And what, what kind of parent material is, 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 is favors this reaction? Mostly silicaceous material, having a poor resource of weathering material, favor the operations of fertilization. This helps in regulation of water. And vegetation, completely coniferous pines, vegetation is highly useful for the forming for this phylogenic process. Mostly, and finding to the leaches of sesquioxides, mostly in this fertilization, organic matter. When the decomposition of organic matter takes place, some organic acids will be produced. So these organic acids form the organic sesquioxides and organic clay complex, which are completely soluble and move with the percolating water to the lower horizons. So this reaction also favors the formation of portzols or portzolization. And coming to this, due to the low pH conditions prevailing the portzolization, aluminum also is dissolved. So what will happen? This aluminum. Is completely, dissolved, is completely dissolved and combined with water which form aluminum hydroxides and release H plus ions. As the iron and aluminum moves about, a hydrogen completely give a bleach gray ashes. Due to this reaction of iron and aluminum bleaches, we can see some gray horizon or white this type of appearance in the profile. Mostly, horizons in Russian terminology, they say it means like, that means ash like. Horizon means ash like from such soils. Overall, students, to conclude the porcelization is a soil forming process which prevails in the cold and humid climate 
where the coniferous and acid forming vegetation is dominated. This is a, this is a brief word of explanation towards the fertilization. The humus and sesquial oxides became mobile and leached out from the upper horizons and deposited in the lower horizon. This is regarding the fertilization. And next is lateralization. Now, students, this term of lateral is derived is derived from the la, la, term lateral is derived from the word letter means brick or tile. Mostly, you can find this lateral type of stones in mostly in the Malabar hills of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Maharashtra. Mostly, it refers specifically to the particular cemented horizon in these certain soils, which when dried and become very hard like brick. Mostly, in this type of lateral laterates, we can see the high amount of sesquioxides, impregnated sesquioxides, which exceeds up to the 70 to 80 percent of total mass. This is called as laterites or latter salts. Overall, students, if you want to see the definition for the lateralization, lateralization is the process that removes the silica instead of sesquioxides from the upper layer and thereby leaving sesquioxides to concentrate in the soil. The process operates under the following conditions. What are this? Now we will see. The mostly, unlike the, unlike the fertilization, the lateralization operates in a warm and humid climate. It's around 2000 to 2500 mm rainfall and continuous high temperature of 25 degrees Celsius throughout the year is needed. And coming to the vegetation, mostly rainforests of the tropical area are highly, are highly support this type of fertilization. Coming to the parent material, basic parent material having sufficient iron bearing ferromagnesium materials like pyroxins, amphibials, biotite, and chlorides, which are weathering release iron and congruent for the development of laterites. These are the favorable conditions for the formation of laterites or lateralization process. Coming to the next is generalization. Mostly in Russian words, jelly means blue, gray, or green clay. Coming to the definition, generalization is a process of soil formation resulting in the development of jelly or jelly horizon. The lower part of the soil profile above the parent material due to the poor drainage conditions, lack of oxygen, and where water lower conditions are prevail, that soils are called the hydrolophic soils. Mostly students, to explain to to explain a simple way, where the complete soils are seized off or without any flow of oxygen or air, we can see we can see some glare-like horizon in like this. So mostly this process particularly depends upon completely climate, as well as high rainfall humid regions and without any proper with an offer without any proper drainage system so without proper drainage system what are the conditions will be resulting you can see the poor drainage conditions are prevailing in low topographic area where the depressed lands are there and where the impervious soil parent material are there and this this due to this we can see lack of aeration under such conditions we can see iron compounds are reduced to soluble ferrous forms the reduction of iron is primarily biological requires both organic matter and microorganisms capable of respiring anaerobically. Mostly, the solubility of calcium, magnesium, iron, and manganese is increased, and most of the ions existed as Fe organocomplex, iron, iron organocomplexes in a solution, or as mixed precipitations of ferric and ferrous hydroxides. This is the recipe. So, this, is the, this reaction is, help, uh, it is the helpful for the production of typical bluish or gray glaish horizon with a mortal of yellowing or Reddish brown color, which we have seen in the previous slide, like this. So, due to the dissolve of those iron and iron compl complexes or magnesium components, we can see due to the sealing of uh, water, we can see this type of horizons. And mostly, and next is salinization. Salinization it is nothing but accumulation of salts such as sulfates and chlorides of calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium in the soils in the form of salinity horizon. Mostly, this type of reactions are very quite common in arid and semi-arid regions. Do you know why this re these reactions will happen? Mostly, where the where the precipitation is very less, that means where the rains are very less and there is a high evapotranspiration, the lower dissolved water table will be raised up to uh, up to the surface layer surface due to the evapotranspiration. What will happen? All the dissolved salts will become an accumulated in the surface layer. So that will be end up with has with the salinization due to the accumulation of salts of chlorides of calcium, magnesium, and sodium. Coming to the next, desalinization, quite opposite to the previous one, salinization. In this year, we can see the complete removal or leaching of soluble salts from horizons or soil profile. It contains enough soluble salts to impair the plant growth. The 
ponding of water, improving the drainage conditions by installing some artificial drainage works. Coming to the next is salinization or alkalization. The process are involved in accumulation of sodium ions in our exchange complex of a clay, resulting in the formation of sodic salts. Mostly, that means on the, on the exchange complex, if you see more amount of Na plus ions, we can say that that condition is called solidization. So all these cations or solution engaged in a reversible reaction with exchange sites on the clay and organic matter as seen in these reactions. So if you want, so overall, you can say one word about solidization is nothing but accumulation of sodium ions on the exchangeable complex is called solidization or alkalization. Next is solidization or dealkalization. As, as we said, that's a quite opposite to the previous one. Here we can see there's a removal of sodium ions from the exchangeable sites. This process involved depression of clay, uh, dispersion of when, <clears throat> when sodium ions become hydrated. So we can see mostly this type of conditions can be can be get when the calcium ions and magnesium ions are come and replaced with sodium ions. So that's why wherever the soil so sodic conditions are prevalent in the soil. We will we, we recommend gypsum. And next one is pyroturbation. It's nothing but operating the soils. It is a mixing process in the soil. Mostly, <clears throat> there are three types of pyroturbations. What are the funnel pyroturbation? You can see this mixing of soils by the animals such as ants, earthworms, moles, and rodents, and man himself. It's called the funnel pyroturbation. And next one is floral pyroturbation. It's a mixing of soils by plants, has in tree stepping. From the, from the pits and moves. And argillic pyroturbation, it's a mixing of material in the soil by churning process caused by swell and shrink clays as observed in the deep black cotton soils because of twist to one expanding clay type. These conditions can be prevalent. That is called the argillic pyroturbation. So these are the, these are regarding with specific pyrogenic process or specific soil forming process. So if you are interested in ICR or JRF, guidance program and IBPS banking guidance program, other competitive guidance program, computer exam guidance program. Agri Challenge Academy is there with you. For the details of the of this guiding and training program is given in the description. Thank you.